ค่ะวันนี้เราอยู่กับกูรูทางด้านการศึกษาระดับโลกนะคะที่จะมาแนะการพัฒนาอาชีวศึกษาไทยให้เป็นที่ยอมรับระดับสากลค่ะเราอยู่กับเขาแล้วคุณแดนนี่กาวสวัสดีค่ะคุณแดนนี่ Hello. สวัสดีค่ะ Well welcome to our program you are here to give us some comments and insights on vocational education first of all can you give us uh, the gist of what is the trend for vocational education worldwide? Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. Um, based on the experience I've had in the past, uh, I've experienced that uh, several countries are starting to develop the tendency to introduce the uh, dual system from uh, the European countries, which is, uh, however, proving difficult because it requires certain uh, prerequisites uh, that companies are also opted to buy in uh, because it's a, a, a dual invest that's also a dual system mm -hmm. uh, the companies on the one hand hire these young people who on the other hand go to school a certain amount of time uh, so that they get practical skills as well as soft skills and uh, this is a tendency which I've been feeling more and more uh, countries are starting to go into well, looking at Thailand in uh, particular, how is the standard for vocational education? Well, from what I've seen until now, uh, Thailand is actually quite, quite advanced, uh, my opinion, from uh, what I've seen in the past. Unfortunately, I have not seen all of the uh, different skill sets which are available. I've seen mainly the industrial skills. And in those industrial skills, I would say that uh, it's it's uh, it's on a moving forward level. Of course, there's always room for improvement. The question is, what is the benchmark one would like to attain? And what is that like for other countries in ASEAN? What is the standard like? I would say that um, countries to strive for out of the ASEAN countries might be, for example, Singapore. Uh, I would say. There are also countries like Malaysia who are quite on the move. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, again, a question of the individual skill or profession which is necessary. Uh, every country has its own advantages or home uh, vocational skills uh, in which they pride and out of tradition are much better than the others. Uh, again, I guess you could say that my perception is mainly on the industrial skills. Mm -hmm. What are some uh, teaching materials or technologies that countries, you know, might need to improve their vocational education, in your opinion? Okay. Um, I mean, we could start from uh, integrated computer technology. I mean, the important thing is that you get a right mix of, of uh, education with the students that they can enhance their learning effect. Uh, it's important to integrate e-learning within uh, training. This also reduces frontal education time because the teachers can give them certain homework which can be done from afar. Of course, this requires a certain infrastructure. Uh, furthermore, it's important to have the right hardware equipment depending on the education at hand but the practical skills are extremely important in vocational. Um, if you think about it, vocational education is actually the backbone of every economy, and this backbone uh, needs to have its, its qualities and needs to be thorough, thoroughly trained and equipped for anything which could arise. Mm -hmm. And what would you say is the situation now in Thailand in terms of you know, technologies, in your opinion, in vocational education? Um, personally, I believe Thailand is already on a good way. Uh, the equipment I have seen, again, based on the industrial uh, fields, there is quite some advance. There has been, have been investments made, uh, but some of these investments are still not enough. Mm. It, uh, it's all a question of, of course, budget and... and uh, capabilities, but I believe that with a little jolt in investment and also train and training of trainers to help those trainers use the equipment properly, 
Thailand would make an advance within five years, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, we know that you'll be hosting the World Didact Asia 2017 this October 10 to 12 at the Queen Circuit National Convention Center. Can you give us some uh, insights on what kind of technologies and uh, products for teaching that we can expect to find that will be considered useful as well? Well, I would say besides the typical uh, educational equipment uh, in technology or in uh, K to 12 or uh, uh, also furniture, uh, I think in the computer sector or in the ICT sector, you can expect mm -hmm. a lot to be coming. Uh, one of which, uh, in my opinion, would be highly exciting is the virtual reality. Okay, what's that like? Virtual reality has one big advantage behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can submerse your, your uh, learner in a situation which you actually hope they will never come into. I would like to take the example of a pilot. A mm -hmm. pilot will sit into a flight simulator and experience situations which he also would never like to experience. Mm -hmm. But he will never learn to fly in the flight simulator. And that's one of the largest advantages behind virtual reality. Okay, Mr. Gauch, before we go, is there anything you'd like to say about this event? Well, maybe I'd like to add one more thing, um, that it's not going to be a small event. I mean, with over 100 exhibitors, which we are expecting, mm -hmm. um, there is also parallel events, such as the Asia Education Leaders Forum uh, and different concurrent seminars. Mm -hmm. uh, so this uh, will prove as an ideal learning opportunity for its visitors. Uh, it is all around education, and I believe that the international pavilions which are planned, such as uh, from Germany, United Kingdom, mm. uh, Korea, China, Japan, and Taiwan, just to name a few, uh, this should bring in a certain color into the exhibition and for the uh, uh, visitors should prove definitely to be an exciting and learnful or learning event. So I can only encourage all visitors and interested in education to come and take a look at what new technologies are coming up, what new methodologies are there, and it doesn't matter what level you're interested in from kindergarten up to university level and technology and sciences, I think everything will be covered. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I hope it will be an interesting and very useful event for the Thai people and especially for the education system in Thailand. Thank you so much, Mr. Gauch, for joining our program today. I thank you. And for you, who are interested in the work of the technology and technology, World Didact Asia 2017 will be at the Zoom of the Zoom of the Zoom of the Zoom on the 10th of the day of the Zoom. Today is the end of the Zoom of the Zoom of the Zoom. We'll see you in the next video. Today is Vina. จงประสิทธิ์และคุณแดนนี่กาชขอลาไปก่อนสวัสดีค่ะ